market adds its own unmistakable atmosphere with bargains and splashes of gay colour everywhere. But let's look a little closer at some of the scenes which go to make your holiday here a picture to remember. There's the whole variety of boats that can be seen in the harbour. From sailing yachts, carefully tended by proud owners, to the occasional visit by more seasoned ships. This one's being refitted before departing for Australia. The harbour itself was built in the 18th century and witnessed many visits by sailing ships like this as troops embarked for the Napoleonic Wars. Local fishing boats make use of the harbour and the skilled craft of the mariner also helps to add interest to the scene. Frequent visits by ocean-going cargo ships lend a very busy atmosphere to the port which shares its safe facilities with these and smaller craft whose activities are more leisurely. With these French visitors enjoying their wine, perhaps it's appropriate to mention food. Whether it's a plate of cockles on the prom, a quick snack with a view of the harbour thrown in, or family lunch at the hotel or restaurant of your choice, you'll find an assortment of eating places to suit both your taste and your pocket. Alternatively, take your refreshment in the open air and with a cup of tea, a seat on the end of the pier, we're all set for a grandstand view of the United Kingdom Outboard Boating Association Rally. Contestants in this international rally use the harbour as a refuelling stop between London and Calais. Over the years, Ramsgate has proved to be one of the finest fishing spots in the south of England. Competitions and angling festivals are organised throughout the holiday season, both from boats or the piers. For the angler, this is relaxation indeed, although sometimes a partner takes her relaxation in a different way. Never mind, she's not alone. There are plenty of people who feel just the same, and why not? Whichever way you look at it, it's easy to get proficient at the art. And with the atmosphere found in this part of Kent, it's a pushover. It also gives the youngsters a chance to get mum and dad off their hands. In fact, they say that Ramsgate's the place where children bring their parents on holiday. The gentle beach, shallow sea and sun combine perfectly together to give the youngsters pleasure. Mum and dad can thoroughly enjoy their rest until the children want to move on to the amusements, perhaps, a great many of which are right on the beach, and there's a good variety to choose from. No seaside resort would be the same without Mr Punch and the inevitable donkey rides, always a children's favourite. The amusements are situated along the sea front, and for almost half a mile, there's fun, excitement and laughter for all, from the dolphins in training to the more traditional fun of the fair at Pleasurama. <laughs> Lifts provide easy access from the seafront up to the cliff top, where budding sailors are able to try their hands at oarsmanship in the Westcliff boating pool. Alongside the boating pool and spreading the length of the Royal Esplanade, the leisurely pastimes of putting and miniature golf can be enjoyed. Full-size golf courses, bowling greens and tennis courts for the more serious sportsmen are all close at hand. In fact, there are plenty of outlets for surplus energy. Getting into the swim, for instance, you'll find yourself in the marina bathing pool right on the seafront. Do your own thing or watch others doing theirs. It's all good, clean fun. And if you've ever felt that the world is getting on top of you, then reverse the situation with a walk around the model village. The loving care which has undoubtedly gone into this small world must surely fill its visitors with admiration. If you have an urge to go to the dogs, 
Well, you can do so here if you wish. The well-organized racetrack with several evening meetings a week is well worth a visit and could be an exciting change. That is, if you back a winner. You never know, it might be enough for a trip across the channel, but not in this. Although the Viking ship Hugin makes a pretty picture where it rests on the cliff top above the international hover port at Pegwell Bay. A contrast between the way people used to arrive here and the way they do now. Hover travel is one of the latest and unique means of transport. Over 250 passengers and 30 cars can be whisked across the English Channel in these giant craft in 40 minutes. This is one of the century's great adventures. And with many flights during the day, there's plenty of time left to look around and shop on the other side. The landing point is Calais, and it's exciting to wander down strange streets and sample another way of life. Even asking the way can be fun, especially when your French is not quite up to scratch. And then, after a taste of continental customs, it's back to Ramsgate, and we're all set for more sightseeing. The county of Kent has some splendid places of interest. One of the oldest seats of English history is Canterbury, with its magnificent cathedral and interesting environment. Peacefully picturesque would be a fitting description for any of the numerous excursions by coach or car to the surrounding countryside. In sharp contrast, the annual Ramsgate Carnival takes over. Starting with a two-mile grand parade throughout the town, the following week is aimed to give the holidaymaker an extra bonus of fun. And when the beauty queens and decorated floats have disappeared into the distance, there's still the evening to look forward to. At the Granville Theatre, a discotheque, or a show bar, providing a variety of entertainment. Thank <laughs> you. 